Okay, so I don't know where my Winamp just stopped playing. Uh, it was partially because I installed a new mic and uh, the output and input devices just kept switching around. So uh, I thought it would be an easy fix as, you know, just going to output and uh, changing the output device like you would on Windows, you know. Uh, but apparently it's not as easy as, not, as that. Uh, you, you can change the uh, output device here, but this wasn't the solution for me, unfortunately. Uh, this is what I, uh, this is what the initial Google searches suggest anyway. So what worked for me was actually uh, this guy's post here, Heathcliff74, thanks to him, uh, I was able to go to my register editor and then uh, you go here, like he says, uh, current user software, Microsoft Internet Explorer for some reason, and uh, and then, where is it? Yeah, here, Internet Explorer, uh, low rate registry, audio, policy config, property store, and then you control F, search for Winamp, and it takes you like somewhere here and uh, you just click on delete and delete the entry. Uh, I have no entries right now because I've deleted them all, but yeah, this is the solution. You just go to, uh, here you control F search for Winamp it will probably uh, found it will probably find like three or four results or five whatever you just uh, click them and delete them you close the registrator give your Winamp a restart is a good idea and then you should be able to play with your Winamp anyway just want to share this because I know there are people out there still using Winamp in 2020, I, I hope. I really like Winamp still uh, because uh, it has shoutcast radios, uh, basically, and I still haven't found a better player. Anyway, uh, let me know if you have another suggestion for a better player, but yeah, I'm still using Winamp. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.